Welcome to the final video for lesson one in our series about using the Tableau public data visualization software. Um, lesson one has mostly been concerned about the basics of Tableau public, finding our way how, around the interface and how to complete, produce simple visualizations. Um, we're now going to go back to something we mentioned right at the start, which is reformatting data for use in Tableau. Uh, the data we're using, and you should download this as data from the, the archive data from the National Food Survey, which is, if you recall, has been replaced by family food, and we'll talk about that in a future video. So what I want you to do is download this particular Excel file. Uh, household consumption of selected food from 1942 to 2000. Um, you'll find the data uh, in, the, in the link for the uh, DEFRA website, which is in the, both the blog post and the notes, hopefully, for this video. Uh, when you open the file, the Excel file, you should see something which looks like this. A um, lot of stuff there, and if you try to upload it to Tableau Public, as we've discussed in the past, it'll be a horrible mess. Uh, primarily, this information here, which is important referencing type information. Um, we also notice this public domain, which means anyone can use it, provided we don't use it to make profit. Um, all of this will not be interpreted properly by Tableau Public. Um, so we need to get rid of that. Um, there's another problem down here in the column headings. Um, so for energy, we've got energy, the name of the column heading, plus the units, uh, megajoules, which are in a different row. Um, these need to be on the same row. Uh, over here, it's worse. We've got our, our three sets of fatty acids. So the fatty acids on one, one in one row, saturated fatty acids the next, and the unit grams in the third row. So we need to be able to simplify that and put all of this information into a single column. And also you'll probably want to add a heading for year in that one as well. Um, I'll suggest that you, as I mentioned in the blog, have column headings which look like this. This is all placed in one column, fatty acids, brackets, saturated, close brackets, brackets, the unit. Um, Okay, now you're going to be modifying your Excel file. And as we've discussed a couple of times, when you do this, it's good practice to leave this data unchanged and create a new workbook. If you haven't done this before, it's quite straightforward. Um, just right click on the name for this worksheet. And you'll see here, move or copy. Uh, click, click on create a copy. And it creates a copy called Neurine. So we'll, we'll move Neurine 1 to before it and we'll probably change that to edit it. Right, so nutrient to the original worksheet remains unchanged and we can edit this one to our heart's content, starting with getting rid of these rows. Okay, and save that as we normally do. Right, in this workbook there's information on energy, in fact we've already looked at, there's some information on fatty acids, not a lot of detail collected until before the 1970s. Uh, might be an interesting data if somebody wants to have a look at that. There's data here for proteins. Uh, where energy comes from, uh, break, the breakdown of that, and, and some information here for vitamins and minerals. Right, now your mission, on the worksheet, uh, again it's mentioned in the blog, something for you to do, uh, using, do the data on proteins, uh, or if you're interested in something else doing that, produce a data visualisation of the data on proteins, or whatever you're interested in. Um, to do that, as we've mentioned a couple of times, we need to remove the unnecessary, remove the unnecessary information, not the necessary information. Reformat column headings, delete any columns you don't need. When you produce a new workbook, we should look something like that. Uh, we talked a bit uh, earlier on about formatting cells to wrap around, so it's not really relevant here. Save the Excel file and use the your own data, data visualization. Uh, my students will be covering this in professional skills. And that's all I want to say about lesson one. Later we'll be back for lesson two. Thanks for listening.